we are back after our b- brief break inshallah but well, uh, now from lesson number 19 onwards we are going to learn how to count in arabic now counting in arabic is little different from english sometimes it seems very complicated it is bit complicated but we will do it slowly slowly chala and dr abdurahim also has in his book divided counting into different sections in this book book 1 we will only learn from 1 to 10 that's all then when we go to book 2 we will learn from 11 to 19 and slowly slowly in other lessons lesson 24 it will complete the counting but we we'll learn inshallah but i always tell students because we do not have arabic environment you don't hear these things that makes it even more difficult for us to practice but please do not be too concerned try to understand the rules and then later on as you will read and revise it will sink in more and more in the beginning it is not very very you won't find it that it's not coming to you very easily but because we are dividing the numbers in small groups it's not that bad okay so we are learning 1 to 10 ha huh? okay on this side i have written rahid is nani the way they pronounce it will be they won't say wahidun they'll say wahid and then if nani do you see if nani what do you see in the hamza is it hamzatul qata or hamzatul wasal it is hamzatul wasal we have to take note of it that if nani the hamza is hamzatul wasal if it is it if, if it comes in the beginning it is pronounced if it doesn't come in the beginning then it is assimilated are you with me we have to remember that and then salasatun but then you will always hear the word salasa uh, like fatima not fatima to fatima salasa arba ha huh? khamsa ha huh? and then sitta sab'a samani ha huh? well samani is a noun but it has a different construction which we are not going to study till we go in book 3 ha huh? it's different now it is called mankus it is called mankus and we are going to study in book 3 how these nouns are made okay very easy but we are not ready for it now ha huh? and then this a this a okay this a and then ashara t ha okay this is we can practice a little bit and then uh, i'll go further from there ready wahid isnani salasa arba khamsa sitta saba samani this are ashara probably in somali you have the same numbers they are different they are different okay wahid islani salasa arba khamsa sitta saba samani this are ashara okay now you should say loudly ready wahid 
ثلاثة أربعة خمسة ستة سبعة ثمانية تسعة عشرة ها تسعة عشرة جاند أيدي أمام السستة we will practice little by little ها to understand it and learn it إن شاء الله now Number one and number two. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Number one and number two. When they come, they are always not. They are always not. Are you with me? They are always not. Always not. Number one and number two is always not. That is why We had a sentence in the last lesson. Kam akhan laka ya Muhammad or ya Mahmud, whatever you say. What was the answer? Li akhun wahidun. Remember, we said li akhun wahidun. Remember that, brother and sister. Li. أخوين واحدون. and I asked Brother Salman this question. What is me? جار مجرور شبو جملة خبر. What is أخون مبتدا؟ أخون مبتدا. and then what is واحدون؟ نات. remember number one and number two will always come as a نات. as a Nah, only one and two, okay? So, kalamani, ifnani, or you will have to join it. Kalamani, ifnani, huh? Kalamani, ifnani. So, what is ifnani? Nah. Okay. If you say Hindi, kalamani, huh? Hindi. Kalamani, it gives you a, it, it gives you an idea that you have two pad. But if you say Hindi kalamun, then you have to say wahidun. Hindi kalamun wahidun means I have only one pad. But if you say Hindi kalamani, you do not have to say ifnani, because kalamani gives that idea. But when you say ifnani, then you are emphasizing by adding the not. Hindi kalamani ifnani, then ifnani is not making it more, you know, emphasis. Okay? But you don't have to. But in case of one pen, you will have to say hindi kalamun wahidun. Huh? Okay? So kalamani ifnani is a not. Huh? Kalamani. Nani is a nani is a not. Wahidun is a not. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? Inshallah. Now, what happens in number three? This is where the drama begins. This is where the drama begins. Huh? There is a big drama here. Huh? We'll try to understand. Okay, we'll try to understand. Okay. Because it is different than other things, okay. Now, how will you say in English? Three pens. The way I said it, three pens. <laughs> how will you say in English? Three pens, three pens. Okay. So three and then pens. Remember, plural. Are you with me? Plural. Four pens. Huh? Five. Books, you said plural, okay, okay. Remember that compound, five books, three tents, four houses, six cars. Huh? Now, from three to ten, brothers and sisters, we are only talking about three to ten. We are not talking anything else. Three to ten, okay. When you start with three to ten, there are two things in the 
construction. Okay, I will write it down. Huh? Into a. I wrote down two nouns. Look at them. What do they resemble? They resemble mudah mudahli. Are they with me? They resemble mudah mudahli. So, in other words, Padarshan from three to ten, the construction is mudah mudahli. Huh? Also, in English, you say three pens. Okay, uh, there is a plural there, but in Arabic we say "falasatu kutubin." What do you say? "Falasatu kutubin." Say. So, what is the construction? Mudaf, mudaf. Okay. I I'm going to do it very briefly, but this is I won't rush. Huh? We will repeat this tomorrow also. Huh? Okay, but now. In this falasatu kutubin, which is mudaf mudafili, huh? what is salasatu is the number. Al adadu, sahi number. And what is al kutubin? Mahdud. What is mahdud? The thing which is being counted. Uh, adad, pa mahdud. Al adadu, wal mahdud. Huh? Adad number, and mahdud is. The thing which is being counted. Uh, fine? Is that the idea? If you can write down this, it will be nice. Uh, inshallah. And, and give them a circle so that you understand. Other than madud. Okay. Now, let us analyze it. Madud is mudafilehi. Is it correct? But I'll... Of the summit, madu this mudafili. And what is it? Is it singular or plural? Kutubin. Plural. So, in other words, madu will always be plural. What will it be? But only from 3 to 10. We are not going beyond 10. From 3 to 10, this will be the situation. I told you. A drama is unfolding in front of our eyes. Okay? Okay. So, in other words, madud will be plural. Sahi? And adat? 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 What do you see in adat? Do you see here? Kutubin. Everything in Arabic is either masculine or feminine. What is it, brother? Masculine. Is it masculine? Kitabun is masculine. What is this? I see Tawar Muta there. It's feminine. So this is, huh? No, if the Madud is masculine, then the numbers are opposite. And don't ask me why. I didn't do anything. <laughs> Okay, that's the way the language is. Only from 10, 3 to 10. So, if the madud is masculine, the number will become family. In lesson number 19, Dr. Abdurrahim only explains the madud which are masculine. In lesson number 20, we will do the other way around. But what is the other way around? Badasan. If the madud is feminine, the number will become masculine. 
Okay? So it's very easy. So, I see in uh, <coughs> Salasa 2 that it is feminine. Do you see it is feminine? Why? You see Tamar Buddha there. Huh? Salasa 2. Okay? And then I see Kutu Bin, which is plural. Okay? Now, Madud will always be Mudaf Lehi. And then the number will be Mudaf. What will be number? Mudaf. So that's why I said if you are strong in Mudaf, Mudaf Lehi, this is Alva Puri Pata. Otherwise, it's difficult to digest. So, Salasatu Kutubil is in the form of Mudaf and Mudaf Ilihi. But Mudaf Ilihi, brothers and sisters, uh, in this case will always be Jama. Will always be Jama. That we have to understand. Uh, so, all the plurals that we have been doing, that will come to use. Okay. Three books. How I say three pens? Salasatu Aklamin. Can got the idea? Salasatu Aklamin. Got the idea? Three houses. Salasatu Buyutin. Three sheikhs. Salasatu Shuyukhin. Are you with me? Three students, male students. Salasatu Tullabin. Huh? Are you with, with me? Salasatu Tullabin. Okay? Fine. So this is the way it will be. Okay? How about three boys? Salasatu Awla Din. Three men. Salasatu Rijali. Now our knowledge of plural will become very handy and you will enjoy it, inshallah. Okay? So, so I go back again. Mudaf, Mudafili. Madud is always Mudafili, so it is Majroor. What about Mudaf? I can see there is no Al, which is good. Mudaf cannot have Al. I see there is no Tanween. Mudaf cannot have Tanween. Sahih? No, there is one more thing about Mudaf. Compared to Mudaf Ilayhi. Mudaf Ilayhi is Majroor, Majroor, Majroor. Huh? But Mudaf can be done, can be done, can be done, depending on the sentence, how it is used. Are you with me? So Salasatu can become Salasata. Kutubin will remain Kutubin. Salasatu Kutubin. Now I make it Salasatu into Mansub. Salasata Kutubin. Now I make it into Majroor. Salasati Kutubin. Depending. But the Kutubin will remain Kutubin. So what is brother? Number one and not one oath. Sahi? What is it? Not one oath. Number two? Not one oath. Number is Naat and this is Manut. Sahi? When I come to three, it is no longer Naat Manut, but it is Mudaf Mudaf Ilehi. And the Mudaf Ilehi is always Jama, because that is the thing we are counting, like pens, books, three pens, four books, uh, five houses. This, okay? So it's Jama. Then Salasatu, the number, if the Madud is Muzakkar, then the number is Mu'annas. And if the Madud is Mu'annas, the number becomes Muzakkar. Huh? We are going to understand it, inshallah. So, how will I say to you, uh, let us try to count 3 to 10 with the book. Ready? Everybody will say loudly, let's do it together. Okay? Starting from three. Thalasatu kutubim. Arbaatu kutubim. Hamsatu 
kotoven. Setatu kotoven. Sabatu kotoven. Samaniatu kotoven. Tesatu kotoven. Asharatu kotoven. Got the idea? Mudaf, mudafli. Okay. Now let us count pens. Huh? Let us count pens. Now you got to understand one thing, brother. When you write Salasatung, it's on its own. That is why we said Salasatung. But when it comes to Mudaf, it becomes Salasatung. You know that, huh? Tanwin cannot come on Mudaf. Huh? If I didn't, if I wrote it separately, I wrote it Salasatung. But if I make it as a Mudaf, then it is Salasatu. Huh? This is, you know, I'm doing this to try to make you as simple as possible. Huh? To make it as simple as possible, inshallah. Okay? Remember, brothers and sisters, I told you, I'm not a scholar. I do not have university degrees. All I have is my experience. That I went to so many places and I learned and uh, the way I found it easy, I want to share with you. And I'm trying to do things, inshallah, which will make it easy for you. Okay, brothers and sisters. So if I say to you, now we are counting pens. So you will start with three. What will you say? Salasatu. Akala minna. So salasatu is mudaf. It cannot have al it cannot have tanwin. Huh? And then akalamin because it is mudaf bilahi, majroor. Ready? So salasatu akalamin. Arbaatu akalamin. Khamsatu akalamin. Sittatu akalamin. Sabaatu akalamin. Sananiyatu akalamin. Tisatu akalamin. Asharatu akalame. You got the idea? This is how we will count. Okay? Ready? Now we count houses. Huh? We are doing a survey on behalf of the city. <laughs> we are counting houses now. Ready? What is houses, Java? Buyutin. Buyutin. How do you say three houses? Salasatu buyutin. Arbaatu buyutin. Khamsatu buyu ten. Sittatu buyu ten. Sabaatu buyu ten. Afaniyatu buyu ten. Tisatu buyu ten. Asharatu buyu ten. MashaAllah, that was good. We are getting better, inshallah. Huh? Now, let us count children. How many children are here in the masjid? So we count it. What is Waladun? A boy. What is Jama? Aulad. So how, how do I say three boys? Thalasatu Auladin. Huh? Four boys. Arabatu Auladin. Hamsatu Auladin. Sittatu Auladin. Sabatu Auladin. Famaniatu Auladin. Tesatu Auladin. Asharatu awlad. Very good. How many men now in the masjid? So Rajulun. What is the jama? Rijalun. So how will I say three men? Salasatu Rijalin. Arbaatu Rijalin. Hamsatu Rijalin. Tithatu Rijalin. Sabatu Rijalin. Samaniyatu Rijalin. Tes atu rijalin. Asharatu rijalin. Now, if you will write it, you know, okay, say about eight of them, inshallah, you will be able to understand it. Huh? It's not difficult. We will do it now and we will repeat it tomorrow. Huh? I will repeat this lesson tomorrow, inshallah.